Nina Turner. Woo! Introduction. Sorry. Thank all of you for coming out. Thank you. With your help tomorrow, we're going to win here in South Carolina. Yeah! With your help, we're going to win the Democratic nomination. Yeah! And with your help, we're going to defeat the most dangerous president in the modern history of this country. Yeah! And I'll tell you why we're going to beat Trump. We're going to beat Trump not just because he's a pathological liar. We're going to beat Trump not only because he's running a corrupt administration. We're going to beat Trump not only because he is a racist and a sexist and a homophobe and a xenophobe and a religious bigot. Those are good reasons to beat him, but we're going to beat him for additional reasons. And I'll give you an example, just an example. I want you all to think about this. Everybody here is aware that we have a major international healthcare crisis in terms of the coronavirus, right? And all over the world, countries are figuring out how we can deal with it. Donald Trump is in Charleston, South Carolina today. Do you know why? Do you know why he is here in Charleston, South Carolina? He does not even have any opposition in the Republican primary. I guess they did away with the Republican primary. All right. He is he is here for one reason, and that is to try to disrupt the Democratic primary. Now, can you imagine in the midst of a global health care crisis when we need a president who's on the phone talking to scientists, talking to health care experts, trying to figure out how we're going to deal with this crisis? He is here in South Carolina for the only reason of trying to disrupt a democratic primary. How pathetic, how pathetic is that? And that tells you all you need to know about this guy. All right, so we're gonna beat him because we are putting together a multi-generational, multi-racial, grassroots movement in every state in this country. Working people in South Carolina, whether you're black, or you're white, or you're Latino, you know you can't make it on seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. And that's why we're going to raise that minimum wage to fifteen bucks an hour. We're going to make sure that all of our kids have a decent education, and we're going to make public colleges and universities tuition free. And all over this country, we have a major, major health care crisis. 87 million people have no health insurance or are underinsured, and that crisis is even more acute here in South Carolina. So what we are going to do is what every other major country on earth does, guarantee health care to all people as a human right. We're going to take on the insurance companies. We're going to pass a Medicare for all single payer program. And we are going to take on the pharmaceutical industry who are ripping us off every single day. We are sick and tired of paying the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. So today we tell the pharmaceutical industry, you're not going to rip us off anymore. <laughs> Together, we are going to pass real criminal justice reform yeah! and end a system that is broken and racist. Yeah! I do not want in America to have more people in jail than any other country on earth. Yeah! We're going to invest in our kids. We're going to invest in jobs. We're not going to invest in jails and more incarceration. Yeah! We're going to move forward aggressively on immigration reform. Yeah! Tired of the demonization of the undocumented. And together we are going to pass comprehensive immigration reform and a path toward citizenship. Tomorrow 
is an enormously important day. And I hope very much that we have the largest voter turnout in the history of the South Carolina primary. Yeah. Donald Trump tries to divide us up based on the color of our skin, based on where we were born, based on our religious beliefs, based on our sexual orientation. If we stand together and demand decent wages for workers, if we stand together and demand health care for all, if we stand together and demand good quality education for all of our kids, if we stand together and demand that we combat climate change, that we leave this planet healthy and habitable for future generations. If we stand together, not only will we defeat Donald Trump, we'll transform this country. So let us go forward and create an economy and a government that works for all, not just the 1%. Let's go forward and fight for economic justice, social justice, racial justice, and environmental justice. Thank you, thank you all very much.